organization and efficiency. So this is something that yeah, don't you know? No phone calls for the twenty minutes I sat there, but now it's. Um, so we were talking about the activity part. So I don't want I don't want to lose sight on the activity. So what what comes with the activity? We the last what we want to avoid is organized chaos, right? Or just chaos in general. I actually feel comfortable in organized chaos. I like things a lot happening around me, but. Um, you know, I, I can say without hesitation that the reason that I was able um, to sort of, you know, cut the learning curve down and, and as I said, kind of get in that straight line as quick as possible, was it was all the activity. I didn't stop, right? I, just, I kept working through the issues, but I stayed very, very organized, which allows me to work very efficient. Um, why is efficiency important? Because this is a numbers game. If you're efficient, you're able to get to more people in whatever the allotted time slot is. Um, pretty simple. So um, me personally, anyone that's worked with me, you guys know that my way, you know, the, the way that I'm able to stay organized and efficient is um, uh, by using MapView. So what Map, MapView is a program, it's an iOS program. Anybody never heard of it? Sounds about right. So I can assure you that you two will hear of it a lot because, again, we're on the same team. Um, it, uh, um, again, it, it allows you to manage all of your leads, manage your inventory, manage your current policyholders, essentially everything. So to, to Martin's question before, you know, like when you saw that activity sheet and, and there's numbers sort of splashed up there everywhere, um, Am I missing anyone though? Terry, I'm sorry. Is there anyone else still back there? <coughs> okay. All right, cool. Um, so the way that I do that, and this also sort of goes with the, you know, the leads lead you to the area. Um, the way that I do that with map view and how I'm able to, to set so many appointments and all of that stuff is it, it's very, um, while it's organized chaos, I'm still um, very methodical about it. So to give you an idea, so these are the leads that I got that I'll work next week, all right? So there was only like 17 because I only have a few days. Um, this is in Newcastle County, Delaware. So the furthest two points. Um, you like it out there? <coughs> Delaware? Yeah, a little bit. It's, the second home. it's been real good to me. Um, yeah, I went where the leads were. The opportunity was there. Nobody was going. Um, I had someone who I wasn't a real big fan of told me, don't go there, it sucks, and I'm one of those chip-on-the-shoulder people. <laughs> She's no longer with us, but I was able to show her that it was not the state of Delaware that was the issue. It was her. <laughs> um, but the way that I do this to get myself in front of more people, and this is what comes in time, but when I made that comment about when I go out, I'm literally tripping over business, well, here's what I mean. So... First of all, never do I get my leads that morning and go out. Because then you're going out on hope, you're going out without a plan, right? So when we started everything, um, to what you know, to what Ty had said, it's funny because he wasn't here, basically said exactly what I had up on this screen. <laughs> and where do you think I learned what I had on this screen? Mm -hmm. I learned it all from him. <laughs> so, but essentially everything he said was bullet pointed up there. Well, one of those things, though, is this: you got to take your business serious. So, like I said, these are the leads that I'll be working next week. Okay, mm -hmm. I got them early this morning. I have people that I use different method, use different direct mail pieces and things like that. So I'll mail them all on on Wednesday. I'll send the mail. They'll get it Friday. I'll <laughs> give them a call Saturday or Sunday as I'm setting up appointments. But they're not my focus, right? Mm -hmm. They're just getting me to the area. My focus is on getting in front of as many people as I possibly can. So how do I do that? Well, also, in a, and so this area is a 16-mile a radius. That's really not much at all. 16. So 16 miles. So in fact, I can drive to the two furthest points in this county. So where Irene Russell is in Middletown, I can get all the way to Claymont. That's only about a 35-minute drive. Um, it's a, this county is beautiful to work efficiently in. So 
well, how are you going to go out there, Paul? You're going to go out there for three, four days <laughs> and work 13 people? No, I'm not. But mm -hmm. while I'm out there, I've got a couple policyholders. <laughs> so <Wow>. now <coughs> I suddenly have a lot more people that I can see, right? In addition to them, I have people that I... Uh, presented to and didn't buy. So these are people I've already been in front of. And they just didn't make a good decision that day. But they will. And then, of course, I have ones over the last year and a half that told me no to my face. So I took my 13 leads. So we talk about how, you know, you call that many people. So I took those 13 leads... I need to clean it. I take everything that's in that circle. Come on. While Paul's pulling it up, if I if I could ask, I got a, I got a couple seconds of burnt some juice to burn. Go ahead. Oh, good. Who, I'm who, glad. Who's the, who, are, who are the newest people in the room in the room that's been here for less than ninety days? Less than ninety days. <coughs> I just want to have an idea where they are as far as their business plans. So, well, that's actually the perfect time, too, because the reason I was able to do this was because I did it from day one. Real quick. Go ahead. Um, nationwide, where did you finish last month, Paul? <coughs> <laughs> no, no, nationwide. Nationwide? Yeah. Three. Number three in the nation. Yeah. All right. That's all I need. Oh, I thought that was a jab. <coughs> you know no, how no, that no, makes no, me no, feel. Like who you have in front of you right You're the second runner up. This is number three. So this is like he's he's giving us for free, like time agent, for free. How? He's the number three agent in the country. Three is great. Dude. Man, that was last month, number two this nah, year overall. Well, you know, <laughs> number two, well, number two on the year. Now. Do it every month. You better say it. <laughs> Come every every month's harder than one month. And our market isn't as is in as vast as the people who are number one, two, or three in some of the other markets. Mm -hmm. Our market's not the same. It's not. It's not like California. It's not like no, that at all. No, not even close. No, <laughs> it's not even the same ball game. Doesn't matter, man. I can get out there and I. Hey, I, I feel that. I got shoes, four knuckles. I can talk. That's all I need. <laughs> I got a question as far as leads and traveling because I just travel for the first. Yeah, time. hold on. Let me go back to this and then we'll get to that. So, because this is what Mark was saying. Well, how do I know how many people I'm going to call or what have you? Well, when I'm using this, right? So I took my lead. My leads are leading me to the area. There was only 15 of them. I throw in the ones that are already policyholders. I throw in the ones I sat in front of. That didn't buy. I throw in the ones that told me no to my face. I put them in that circle, so now they're on a list. I can export it, so I just turned those 15 leads into 207. Mm. Just like that. None of which, and none of that's cold. Because they've all seen me before, they've all heard from me before, they've bought from me before, or they got a letter and they know they're about to see me. <coughs> so none of it's cold. So now, and it's Sunday night, I'm on the phone because I can, you know, you can keep, I'm not going to go through exporting so the whole list. it's nothing for you to call 80, 90 people. Huh? It's nothing. You got no. seven. No, because the, it does it for me. Right. Because then when I export it, I have to go to two different things. But eventually, it's going to have first name, last name, address, mm -hmm. phone number. That's all I need. I don't want to know the notes. I don't want to know when they requested the information because then it's in my head. Did what I have is a list of 207 people that live within a 16-mile radius. That's from here to what? The park? I mean, I, I, I mean that's nothing. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Go ahead. So are you, did you just make a group when you did that? When you're pulling these different... <laughs> well, that's from using MapView. Yeah, I, know, I mean, I use MapView too, but I just noticed that you put, it said export 207. So I know you're far fancier with this thing <laughs> than I am. That's but what's inside. Like 207 is what is inside. Actually, it's down to a 12 and a half hour race. I even cut some off by accident. So that 207 is all stuff in here. Right. But just that last, that previous screen, it said export 207. Yeah, that's how many names are on. That's this list right here. 
trying are to you putting this group together, that together when you're out there, or are you just pulling it up on this, map view? This is the consistency. This is me using map view every day I'm in the field. So at one point, these were all new leads or people I met at the gas station or people I met on the street. Right. They, they themselves <laughs> became not interested, presented, didn't buy, right. sold, or new lead. Okay. So, I mean, I, I'm doing the same thing as well, but I, I thought maybe... I'm, I thought you had another trick. No, no trick. And I thought when you were lighting them things up, that I thought you may have just made a group. No, and, no, no. But you're just well, I did. Those, your... th those are. I was just grabbing a fact. I mean, here's my policy holders. So I all that, in the green. Yeah, but I. Right. But, but this is where my new leads are next week. Right. So that's the only area that I'm focusing on. That I'm surprised explode. your map you didn't explode by now. <laughs> no, it's good. You got all that on. So right, so that's what I that's what I thought, and I thought when you did that, when you opened that up, I thought you may have taken the name no, and made a group. I got you. No, and I'll talk to you about it. I don't okay. want to make this a map view right. training though. No problem. Um, because it's really just about the importance of staying organized. Right. See, right, right. especially when you're new and you're just starting a lead inventory, this is so important mm. because. <clears throat> one of the reasons, see, I came in at the perfect time and I got put in the perfect car. Right, this all happened for a reason. This opportunity was, I thought you were like smoking over there. No, no I looked no. over, you were like. I had a piece of chicken with tea, sorry. But no, you're good. But this opportunity, right, this was presented to me eight years ago. The time wasn't right. But something happened, right, but something happened that had GB put up a Facebook post. And something in the universe mm -hmm. happened that had Dave Jennings, who I didn't know, share it on Facebook. And my wife is friends with his wife. And my wife made a comment to me. And then I looked into the opportunity closer. Right? right? That doesn't happen by accident. Right. And then the only time I was trained, there were other people that weren't available. And I got put in Juan de la Vega's car. Mm -hmm. Of all the cars. <laughs> Secure app had just come out. So the, 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 the issue that a lot of people had transitioning from paper to Secure app was a non-issue for me because I didn't know any different. Right, right. Right? The other thing was, was Map View. His wife had called him on his Bluetooth and said something about it. And I said, What's Map View? And he told me, Guys, we've got to take advantage of every opportunity because I was in that car broke as hell. No money. But I needed, at this point now, having an iPad was going to be essential for my business. I had to do whatever I could do. Again, I had two choices Finger Hut or go to Verizon. And, like, you know how when you do anything that requires a credit check, you're just like, you're, you're standing up there all confident, like your credit's money, but in your mind, you're like, I hope this goes through, I hope this goes through. Anyone know what that feels like? <laughs> so, yeah. my, my only question real fast was, of all them 207 policy holders, oh, I got some energy. Of all them 207 <laughs> policy holders that we've seen up there, um, they all have your telephone number, right? So oh, if no you doubt. call them, they're popping up, and you're, you're popping up in their phone, number one. Yeah. Number two... I never use MapView. I'm, I've been here for nine and a half years, so I'm not familiar with MapView other than what we talk about here all the time. Right. But I was organized to the point where when I revisited old counties, I took my old leads right. and my policy holders with me. So even without this system, depends on how bad you want it, how organized you are, you can still get it. It's how bad you want it. We have a whole slide that said that. I wish you were here at the beginning, man. Um, <laughs> But yeah, he's right. So, and these are, all this is, is just me trying to shift the numbers game in my favor. How can I not come out of a, a full phone session without, in, without appointments? Again, it's not about what you're saying, it's how many people you're saying it to and how bad you want it. I won't even open these up to show you some of the notes I may have taken in here because I get emotional <laughs> and you can talk the notes in. So we don't even want to pull it up what some of those notes may say. Yeah. But again, the leads just lead you to the opportunity. Um, to what to the point I was making about, you know, I had to make that decision and I went out and fortunately Verizon approved me for the iPad and I knew that I, <laughs> I didn't have to come up with any money for a month. I was good. I was good for at least a month. But I stayed on it from the first day. I never deviated. Even when it was like, man, this is kind of tedious. Like, ugh. But now I can access any note I've ever taken from the day I've been here, right? So I'm taking all this knowledge that I'm getting from these people that found ways to make it happen without all the tech stuff, 
doing everything they say and then just putting in the extra work with this and all of a sudden you become a machine that can't keep up. That's it. Go ahead. Um, so just to go back to, I know you were talking about how you organize that, but all the little black um, ones, those little ones are not revisited, right? No. I'm definitely calling them. Yeah. Break down the categories again. Those ones at a later date, like because what? Those are or those just pins? Like what is the, the black ones? Say? No, those are these are leads that that, were, that are marked as not interested. That are so, not interested, so you're just going to revisit them maybe later. I drop a phone call, or okay. they're not a priority, but I mean, when you look at it, you know, I'm driving to see Roy. Why not drop by on Nat and Joanne? You don't know what's gotcha. going. Yeah, you don't know what's going on in their life. Gotcha. Right now, am I going to go out and say, I'm, today I'm going to, this week I'm going to work all the leads that told me no to my face. No, I'm not going to do that. But I'm already here. So, because the, here's the thing. Regardless of what was going on in their life that day, something inside of them told them they need to send that in. Gotcha. Right? There was some kind of fire burning inside or something told them that. It's our job to find out what that thing is. Now, the timing's not always going to be right. But if I know they're there, you know, I, no, I don't keep all of these lead sheets on me and all that stuff. But it's, but if, I'm, if I know I'm calling and going to Roy's, first, first, it cost me nothing to call Nat, Jean, and Hermina. Actually, it did cost me something. 35, 35, 35. Why not keep maxing? Why, why not try to get more bang for my buck? So again, it's just about shifting the numbers game in your favor, but that only happens with, with nonstop activity, right? And creating as many streams of revenue as you can. And the way to generate nonstop activity while we all have lives is like Ty had put up here before. He, when I, I mentioned the yard signs and stuff, he showed them. That's activity. If there's a magnet on your car and you're driving down the road, that's activity. People, every person that's behind you at the red light is doing nothing but looking at your name, your phone number, your product, and what you offer. Get to the next red light. Oh, there's another person looking at it. And they have to drive around. I mean, because again, what if 0.0001% of all people that see that buy a policy? We drive by a lot of people, man, <laughs> when we're out working. Same with, the, same with the signs in the yards. That's still activity. Everyone that drives by it, you know, your name's out there. Your name is out there. Name is out there. I mean, that's why they do it. That's why you have companies spending millions of dollars to stick their, you know, product on race cars that just go around and around. Because that's a three-hour advertisement if that car is winning. It's all that it comes down to. So it's just ways to generate activity. A no is not a no. A no is not, not now. Yeah. I mean, it's funny, too, because sometimes the people that were the absolute rudest to you will have something happen in their life, and then they call you, and they are so nice. And I usually won't remind them how ignorant they were until after we've, like, handled business. And, I'm, and I'll say, I knew you were just a big softy inside. You know, especially when it's, when it's sweet little old ladies. I don't know why I just keep doing this now. There we go. Um, <clears throat> as far as map view goes, if you have it, why'd that happen? It's like the whole thing. Oh, my mirror ain't stopped. There we go. Um... If this is something that you, do you use map view, Jared? Yeah. Sweet. So, I mean, we have a lot of training resources available. It's actually not very difficult. You know, it looks confusing. You know, you want to watch the whole, I'm not techie, and then you avoid everything. That's an unwillingness to, to get uncomfortable, which usually doesn't align with your financial, that unwillingness to get uncomfortable and being where you want to be financially that usually those things don't align. <laughs> In fact, the higher your willingness to get uncomfortable, the, the higher your income will soar. Um, so again, it, it's not, um, this is kind of what's used to get me in front of those numbers. I know we got broken up by the break. 
But when we had the data up on the activity sheet, how do you get in front of how many people? That's sort of the way that I do it. I get the leads, and then I just kind of like a, a B-52 drive above it, and the bomb I drop on that area is me. <laughs> um, and it's go time. So, any other questions? Go ahead. I had one about uh, just leads and traveling. Let's just travel for the first time. Sweet. So, I know you was real successful like in Delaware and travel to Florida and things like that. So, is there are there any factors that you consider whenever picking an area to travel to? Or was it like you said with Delaware, just a whole bunch of leads, so you said I'm going there? Well, I went where the leads were. That was the first thing. But what I what I did when I first started, I knew I had to, you have to rec you have to know you, right? You have to know like I knew I'm very emotional. And I knew if I was close to home and something didn't go didn't go my open only child, I had all kind of defects in character that I was slowly realizing. So I knew that if I was home and things didn't go my way, I'd find a reason to blame something else or blame the business, blame everything except me and take my ass home. I couldn't do that, you know, I, because again, there's no plan B. This was it. Um, so I knew I had to get on the road, right? Except, which was fine, but I, I didn't know the business enough yet. So, like, if you look, you know, just even at the, So these are my policy holders, right? Obviously I live in Pittsburgh. So obviously I live here. Um, but initially, yeah, I was going where the leads are, but I, I wasn't efficient. I didn't know what I was doing yet. So I got some leads in Lackawanna. I went up there and wrote some business. Next week I got some leads in Tioga. I went up there and I wrote some business. I got some leads, then it was in Northumberland. I went down there and wrote some business. But you can't efficiently keep doing it that way because I couldn't get back to my, again, it's numbers game. So this is why you never, and when it's, it's very difficult when you're new to, to make it a habit of never missing the morning calls, <laughs> right? It, because I remember being, I was only on it because someone told me to. I didn't know what they were talking about. I didn't know who the people were. But as I'm doing all this craziness, um, you hear a call. It was probably end of June. Um, <clears throat> one that, that Ty did around that same time changed a lot for me personally. It like changed my life. But this one changed my business. Dan Steinhaus was talking. And it was when we were first able to go to Philly. Right? And he was talking about making that trip across the country. And, and, and they weren't doing a lot of that then. But he talked about you want to set up your business where you're working a straight line, like Ty said. So, yes, the traveling is great, especially if it keeps you, you have to be committed to it. But that's how Rob is able to do it so successfully. He removes himself from the family part for those three days. Um, so I was traveling everywhere, but I wasn't working efficiently because, yes, I'd write eight policies, but if I had 40 leads, that's only 20%. Like, that, that's not enough profitability. And then if I'm going here next, I'm just leaving these behind, and I'm not going to them. Like, I haven't been... Damn it. Why is that doing that now? So I'm not getting back to those to service them like the other ones. So when I started going to Delaware... I'm making that drive here to here to here. Well, it's a smaller state. So I was getting all the leads like in Newcastle. I would work all the time, but then I really started focusing on Newcastle County. But I'm still driving back home to Pittsburgh every week. So I started getting more leads in Dauphin County. I started getting, um, as I'm coming through on the turnpike, I started getting more leads in Somerset County. So I was able to start basically working while I was driving, but I kept going to Newcastle. And then as I did that, and I had worked through all the leads in Newcastle, well, let me work Delaware County, right? So now I'm doing the same thing back and forth. But while I'm coming, I always have something from last week or the week trip before that. So I'm always driving, making that drive with preset appointments. Like that makes 
a 300 mile drive on the turnpike with the tolls and everything, that makes it a lot easier to make. Um, when I had worked through all those, then I started getting up into Philly. So, you know, you throw a thing, I probably have 400 policyholders. Matt, it, Please, I mean, so and, that's and only a 26 mile little thing right there. And in, in addition to that, you start learning the area, you start learning shortcuts, you start connecting dots. You know, I, I, just, I just wrote your sister, you, you know, a couple months earlier, it, and it starts tying everything together. And then the biggest thing that I find when you, when you really, you own that area. That yep. area is yours. You know that area, people know you. You live out here, but them people out there know you, <sighs> even though you're way out, you're way out there. And you get a slew of referrals because you just start connecting everything, I agree.